Monday, October 14. Goddamn, the scares are coming. The third and final day in Sublego Manor began with an odd feeling of expectation. Still shaking about the occurrences of last night, I managed to pull myself together and focus on finding out what really happened inside the place. Oh, so there are three days. Okay, so it's kind of short then. I thought it was a bit bigger. Oh, I'm kind of glad it's kind of short. Right, uh, no writing. I know, I knew it was fruitless. I couldn't write. It was solved the mystery. It was the only thing that mattered to me now. I may be insane. Should probably race out of the house and never return. I just want to go back to bed. I need to sleep. Clear my mind a little bit. Perhaps I'm too tired to realize I'm not alone in this place. Another day inside Blackwood Matter. Fortunately, the rain has stopped. Somehow I feel renewed with energy. It's like the past night was just a bad dream. Almost doubting it ever, it ever happened. But still, I feel strangely optimistic. I have to keep going. Try sitting at my desk. Just one more try, but it was useless. So what we do first? Turn the mask that has moved to the dream? Just save on save three. Right, um... Because this game is weird, 9 a.m. Okay. On a Sunday, Sunday. I have karate hands as a, as a thing now. God damn it. Study the mask and it silently stared back at me. Okay. That's uh, something. Nothing I've joined there. It's the mask that moved in my dreams. Hmm. <laughs> it didn't like it. Butcha! Problem with this room is it's a weird room. Let's have the problems with this place. I hear the war drums the entire time now, so uh, our boy is getting crazy. It was incredibly cold inside the house now. That's a sign there's a spirit. Shh, have you played Phasmophobia? Okay. Jerry! Jerry! Who is it? It's me. The ghost hunter. Any contact with the other world yet? Actually, I'm not sure. Jerry, I'm definitely not alone in this house. What are you talking about? Last night I saw something down below. It was moving. I wasn't dreaming and I'm not making this up. Are you sure it wasn't a mutant rat? Definitely no rat. I'm calling the police. No, 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 not just yet. Michael, for Christ's sake, you could have a burglar inside the house. This is no burglar, Jerry. It's much more interesting than that. And I want to figure this out by myself. Have you taken leave of your senses? Just promise me you won't call anyone. I can do this on my own. Whatever. Just call me if you need any help. I'm driving there today. Right. Bye. Can you talk to him again? No. Okay, cell phones don't exist in this day, day and age. I was once about to die. I remember that Barbara said she would take Monday off. God damn it, Barbara! What am I supposed to do with a note? Decided it was a good time to make use of that wood. Was it? Wood is now burning nicely in the fireplace. That makes sense. Like that. Nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. Now we can go outside though. That's 10 a.m. Okay. We formed ourselves up. Can we go outside? We can go outside. Okay. The first thing we're gonna check is there been is there news? If I 
wanted to leave, I could not do so on foot. Oh, you sorry ass. There was no way I could open it with my bare hands. I have this key. He didn't fit here. This key? He didn't fit here. Bummer. That was pointless. Okay, so what now, bruh? We can't go outside, but if we have no real no real reason to go outside, we probably should not go outside. The place that is probably probably spooking him the most is the basement. So even though I don't wanna go into the basement, I have to. I do have to check. The thing that's weird is there's scratches over there and can't seem to open it. So the key we're gonna find has some of the darkest secrets of James Blackwood. That's what's spooky. Spooky me more than all the rest. Let's save. Save a Monday. Monday. I'm fidgeting with my hands now. This is sus. Always has been sus. This is sus. And he wanted the daughter. Sus. Let's go in the basement. Get rid of it. Music gone. No eeriness. It's just the basement. Fern sucks. Let's go through it though. Hello. Drink off her, try some I can move it with my hands. Can I go in? It was as dark as a mud of a wolf, in any case, I didn't want to spend too much time there. It's fine by me. There's two matches left. There's no oil in the lamp. Okay. No, no, fritz. Some uninterested books. Okay. Basement is out of the question, though. I didn't want to stay there. Yeah, yeah, the refrigerator is bagging for some stuff. Everything is locked. How am I supposed to continue, huh? Tell me. Book me. Book me. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Oh. Pour some oil on the hinges of the door and hope that will reduce the rust. Let's go! A thick mist struck me in the eyes and as I entered the barren greenhouse, the smell of a long dry plant and dirt permeated the air in a very ambient shout. Would there be this someone living here? Like he could plan whatever. I'd still be alive. I see something. Some kind of shiny object means a grating. If it was, there was no way I could reach it. This sounds pointless. This is useful. This didn't hear anything out of the ordinary. So we need to flow some water through. Are we able to do that? I'm imposing by that tree adorned the center of the greenhouse. That would be very cool. I'm the boss of the collapse spreading its contents of the concrete floor. Hmm? Okay. Ooh, ooh, oh. There's a bush containing a bush hut. A bush had fallen, blocking the drain. Ah. That's the problem. Nope. It's pointless. Who's this? It's pointless. Who's this? Oh, I could've hurt myself. Burn it! Fire maniac, you're a bitch! It's clean enough, it's not! There must be some. What a bush, I need to do something with that bush then. Oh! Drain! I think the water wasn't running. Yeah! Damn it! 
The upper walkway was livelier than below due to several plants that someone managed to subsist on it. Hmm. A shovel. There's a shovel in the planter, but it was stuck in the soil. My guy, you have muscles! Just pull it out! Blood was scattered. Scattered here and there. Nothing in the pots. Land on top of the table is strangely attractive. It's an old fumigator. The watering can was of no use of me as I had no plans to try reviving any of these plants. Get into the shed. February 7th. As much as I regret it, I've decided to stop caring for the greenhouse. All my efforts to save the plants have been in vain. Just can't seem to figure out what is wrong with them. It has been a few weeks since they began falling apart to pieces, dying without any apparent cause. Some of them would just crumble at the slightest touch. It's not only frustrating, but very unsettling. Every time I enter the place, I can feel a sense of dread and decay. What I most regret is the condition of the rare plant I brought from South Africa. It's now all sad looking and almost dried up. We'll take it upstairs and look after it, hoping it will get more sunlight. Assuming that everything that has been happening here has a na natural explanation. Death is surrounding this place and I can't seem to do anything about it, in spite of my concerns. I can't help thinking that all of this has began when I brought that... I wonder... No, I have to put those thoughts aside. So stop reading all the sinister books to getting under my skin. I managed to go inside the greenhouse, another one of Blackwood's haunts. This place is really sad and the atmosphere is dense. Yeah, well, we have a garden, Shears. Let's use them. Here's a tale of wood training plants. From you. Do a few leaves with me. Why? I was I'm doing this a joke. Taking a few leaves and fruits from the strange African plant, they had a very particular smell. Can we use it to pee someone? Open the bag of fertilizers to find lying in the table. There's nothing else in there except for this unknown song. I have everything. Imagine a huge tree may, may walk in the upper walkway very difficult. It's no shovel. Let's go back down. Now I'll be able to trim this boy as well. Remove a few branches and leaves, clearing that corner of the drain. That's good. That's not blocking the drain anymore. What you need to do is make the, let the water run. Well, how do we do that, huh? How do we do that? I'm guessing I have found everything over here. There are no other notes on the pots has collapsed and spilled all the contents in the floor. The tree. Only that drain seems to be interesting for later, but it doesn't seem like there must be something. <laughs> no, I don't see anyone. Good. Uh, shut. Small pool of water below the certain arching tree. How do we do this? That wasn't useful. Right, things that I do that are useful aren't, aren't as useful as you think they are. Like, why is there a pond that I can check? You know, just throw some newspaper on it or something. What's the reason I, I go over here, huh? Only difference is he managed to get inside inside a treehouse, a uh, greenhouse. <laughs> tree house. There's no treehouse in here. He had no kid. The kid died. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he would have a treehouse. Then, no, he doesn't. Let's see. Oh, great! We're back here, lost with the pool and the greenhouse. 
guessing. I guess we're able to open the, the, the water. We might be able to, you, to, to get the thing that's shining into the pool. That's probably why, why there's a entire drain over there. Right. Oh, it's used for the crypt. Right. So we're going to the crypt first and then the shot. And really a nice change of pace. Going further and further in. Go to the clock. 1 a.m. still. We changed. Yo. Jerry. Bad luck. Way to go to the crypt is fire this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. He's the grinder for something. Maybe. What's the grinders? Those are used to roll them. I was open away for anything to be tossed inside to test his blades. I can't put anything in because the thing I can't, I want to put in, you don't want me to put in. So, fingers, my man, fingers. We're in the crypt. It's probably gonna scare us to death. It's probably gonna scare me to death. Uh, come on. Oh boy. Good job. Uh, so I'm not able to use that as to open that. Am I supposed to go back to the greenhouse and find something? There must be something I'm missing in the greenhouse, then. The water isn't flowing. That's that I know. Maybe it's linked to the... To the valve in the basement. Now you have to use this. <sighs> Oil. Hammer. A lant. Paper. <laughs> Oil these. Uh... <sighs> right. I want to go back there as well. Walk around. Large horse was lying on the walkway. That's something. There we go. Okay, so we need to shovel. We just need to loosen up the soil. So what now? Soil? Maybe the water wasn't running. How do we start the water from running? <laughs> it's, not, it's not really making any sense with that, huh? Here it is. Must be something, some kind of... Little bubbles were scattered here and there. If you had pathetic plants in them. Don't be mean to the plants, though. Already pissed off ghosts. Wanna piss off the nature as well? Subs over there. Subs over there. Subs over there. I don't think the drain valve in the base in the basement is linked with this. Rub the plant. Cut it some more. Well, the drain's already clear, so I didn't have a need to keep cutting the plant. I want to cut the plant some more. You ever, you ever think of that I maybe I want to cut the plant some more? Okay, we need to... The hose. Wait, the hose, the hose, the hose, the hose. The hose, go back to the hose. 
You gotta end of the host. You gotta end of the host. You gotta end of the host. We put one end of the host, but what about the other end of the host? There are two host spots. Like, where is it going? Hey, that's what I need. Going down now. Okay. Yes. Now, I need the water wasn't running. Now, how do I start the water? I got a host now. Well, how do I start the water? You have to make the water flow. And I'm guessing it's linked with the ponds. It's linked with the ponds. I'm guessing. Tree and little hole in space which allow water to pass through a nearby lake. Did I miss another thing? Are you for, are you for real? Oh my fucking god, I swear to How do I miss these things? Fucking guy was hidden. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Ah. Thanks to the guide. Again, my stupidity has been has been has been shown. Where I guess a fourth or fifth time that I've missed an item. The item was a generic silver. I can use to open the garage. He doesn't say anything about it because why? Well, why would he? Why would he say anything about it? I'm very glad I was able to have a lot of progress before I went back to the thing. Fine, here's your key. Go in the garage. This is the first thing I'm supposed to do. The dark smell of aged oil is infecting a boring line garage. It doesn't say anything about going in the garage. There's a bicycle! And it works. Oh. That's good. Well, there's an old and dusty bicycle in the garage. It seems to have some sort of device attached to it. Well. Huh? Well, great, we're sitting near the bicycle. Yeah, well, good for you. An axe. Take it. Take the axe. Put her in. Oh! What? What? It's a generic screwdriver. Well, I'm glad I did the thing. I want to. I saw something else. Damn it. All the various items lying on the table, only the toolbox on the far left seems to have a few useful things. A few? There's more. Nope. Okay, so we have a screwdriver. What do I do with that? One classy and old automobile. Still, I didn't want to get very close to it and gave me a strange feeling that something was about to jump me from the inside. Are you serious? Could be. So. Does run. Does it mean this one? Gives my number dynamic launch, but that's how the device had to be a dynamo. Trick 
rub it. We have to unscrew the dynamo. If we use it, the dynamo turns makes electricity. So we might be able to use it, but not quite. Anything else in the garage? Oh, a crowbar. The sturdy crowbar, this thing's always come in handy. That's true, that's very true. Like for that box. Alright, fair enough, it's empty. Wait, anything else? Pitchfork? Lamp? Lamp? Checking it start? Does I have everything? Double check in. There was something I've been missing. Can't see it. That thing. Pliers. What about pliers? Oh. There are pliers that I ain't taking. I really use it to put some shampoo. That's about it. The guide says there's something in the main bathroom. Let's go! How much time has passed? Probably still 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Then I've been doing this all on the same hour. Every hour on the hour, every hour on the hour. Main bedroom. Maybe the mirror. And we can shimmy that. Show me that. Yo, I'm right. I got a mirror. It's a mirror that I took from the main bedroom. But for what reason? Mirror was shiny enough. It was a mirror. It wasn't useful. I remember something with said mirror. It has something to do with said chapel. Barbed wire. There's a guy that said so in the beginning. <laughs> so, for some reason, Mary. Cold shiver ran down my spine as ended the decaying crypt. The foul smell of rotting flesh seemed to have persisted throughout the years. Oh, we can go downstairs. I don't know one. Let's go cough first. Seriously, can say I was about to do, but my curiosity got the better of me. Corpse in advanced stage of decomposition was inside the coffin. It was the Skustang. Whatever that was, I could sense a feeling of terror in that face. Really? There? Oh, yes. Wow, wow. How about this one? Empty. Curiously enough, this coffin was completely empty. Okay. Okay. I could imagine what the purpose of the grating in the floor was. Obviously, nobody down there was in need of fresh air. Hey, who am I to judge, right? <clears throat> Why? Why? It's a box. 
None of the coffers likely belong to the dead child, just blankets. Cross for the witness in the game boy at the bay wasn't very telling. Fair enough. There are several coffers in this room probably belong to the most important assets of the family. But it's open. The coffin was half open and was horrified to glimpse the remains of a dead cat. Strange. Cat. So you want that body said I guess it's been enough for the mate. What's this? What's the place for two belly order to make out what they were? Scent. I mean, it wasn't better shit on the rest, so it was too dark in this pretending spot to make up with the blank scent. Oh, a wire. What? What do I do with that? What do I do with the mirrors? That wasn't useful. There isn't any other spot to go through, so that's fine. Just for the light, so I'm glad there's some light. Okay. So what's next? Well, there was some planks over there. Hey, where are the planks? Oh, there. Oh, okay. Going to the plank, both Mr. and Mrs. Black would have died in the same year. There's one missing. And there's a rock. An ordinary rock. That one is empty. Does that mean there's a walking corpse? I'm really, 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 really curious. Go back down and see some else. Winners in the dome above. Not slight under the crypt. Wait. Is that what is this thing is for? You have to attach the mirror somehow. Oh, you cheeky bastards. So that's what the, the wire is for. We need to attach the mirror somewhere. It's really sneaky. Are you able to put it up here somewhere? You need to place it somewhere. A lot of light is coming through. Wasn't useful. Well, I'll have to try. Stone at the window, but Sally it missed and bounced off the ceiling, flying out of sight. <laughs> and so I got dropped somewhere up here. Oh, see it. Let's try again. I know you guys are probably gonna say, like, why are you using a guide for us? But this is hard to think about, you know? Bringing a particular window could have proven fruitless. Which window am I supposed to hit? That one? Oh, he is an ass. He's a particular ass now. Oh. Oh. Jesus, I was just on the wrong place. There we go. And I rolled a stone at the window with my almost strength. And this time, my aim was true. Last collapse, throwing shirts in every direction. Hopefully none of them hit me. So now what? Is that enough light? Let's... Wasn't a better shade on the rest, was too dark. Maybe, 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 maybe,
shining on that one. Let's see if we run this. Now we have a light source. So all animals were dice in the wall, but Lazarus in the camel vicinity. I know there are no cows in the vicinity. Now we can read the stupid name. Ugh. The description was too royal, but it seemed the name began with the letter R. Or something. Nope. The memo ain't did a crab, the blaze is suffocating and a roaring smell. That's what this is saying. So apparently we've done everything in the crypt. Cool. Get out. Done it. To leave in the crypt, I stopped the thing for a few seconds. We found one body inside. There were two plaques. No one's evidently out of place there. Oh, you're such an asshole! There's also a maid before, so... <coughs> Also, be that she's somewhere, or somewhere else, you know. Let's go to Jerry. God, this game makes you makes me feel dumb. Yeah, perfect title for the game, though. Scratches the game that made me feel dumb. Jerry, my man. Hi, Jerry. Michael, I was worried about you. Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm fine. And I think I know the identity of my intruder. Tell me, who is it? James Blackwood. The Blackwood person? Michael, are you serious? That the ghost of the murderer is roaming the house? I'm not talking about his ghost, Jerry. I'm talking about him. What the heck do you mean? I mean James Blackwood himself, alive in this house. What? It makes sense. After murdering his wife and realizing what he has done, he begs for help to Christopher Milton, who fakes his death. Milton? The previous owner? Michael, you're losing your mind. Even if he managed to hide himself, how did he survive all this time? Milton has been missing for years. Good point, but I'm sure a desperate man like Blackwood would have found a way. Yes, by turning into a ghost. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have it right here. James Blackwood passed away on June 1963. Would you please stop this? Jerry, just listen to me. I know I'm right. There's only Mrs. Blackwood's body in the crypt. His is missing. Oh, God, Michael. You've really gone out of your mind. Digging into coffins, what next? Desecrating the chapel? Whatever it takes to solve this mystery. You can only find stories like this in books. Precisely why I'm beginning to wonder about your sanity. You'll see. Ah, oh, fuck you. What's next? If I must sign script, because another body was missing. It's like in a boat, James and Catherine were buried together. It's by the murder. I know that Catherine was stuff for sure, but James. Sick. Okay, so. Flyers for the crowbar, and we have a screwdriver. Alright, Jerry gave us a, a, a thing we should we can check out. Here goes, we have a date, we can check out some stuff. That attic is worrying me. Just, just a pressure attic. On one side, I don't like that side. Also, if James is alive, why is he hiding? Questions. Went to the news during June 1962. The article wasn't as informative as I thought, but there was a phone number scrolled on the page. Let's go! Following the shocking news of a game of public knowledge last week, we must now inform by the sinister article in the story. It had been in the mind of every citizen of our town. These past few days, Mr. James Blackwood has died at the age of 56 due to a heart attack. 
largely because of the pressure and stress caused by the astonishing accusation of by Mrs. Eva Mariani, former maid of the family. This puts her son under the case deferred by the authorities. Police Chief William Bailey said it saddens me that Mrs. Blackwood was never brought to a proper trial. No matter what kind of excuses could be possibly made, the death of Mrs. Catherine Blackwood is a fact. I'm fully convinced that he was guilty. Dr. Christopher Milton said to be sorry, said to be taking care of a funeral that nobody will attend, and all the belongings of the Blackwood family are now in his possession. Silently, Rothbury returns to daily life, turning the page over in one of its darkest chapters. Many will wonder in the years to come what really happened in Sly Blackwood Manor. Mail train robbery well over one million pounds. Senior police spokesman said last night that the total haul in yesterday's mail train robbery was clearly well over one million pounds. More than 500,000 pounds of it belonged to the National Provincial Bank. Let me write it down. When you look at what Blackwood's dad was almost fruitless, except that there was a phone number on the main page. It would seem like someone was planning to phone Mr. Bailey. One of that call was ever made. It's not a done in a notepad, just in case. Uh, zero. It's a nine. Nine. Nine, six, six, five. Uh, space. Six, five, two, nine, seven. It could also be one. Just remember, it could be nine, it could be one. This writing is poo poo bad. Yeah. I'm ready for your chains. You can't hide from me. What about it ends? Michael die. He, he, well, he won't die because... He's, the stuff he says is in, a, is in the past. Sort of. Phone, phone. My hat, my hat. Poor thinking hat. <laughs> My non thinking had more likely. I know I'm not enough for you to do it. Okay. Zero. Nine. Six. Six. Five. Six. Five, two, nine, seven. Oh, I guess it's a one then. Zero, one, six, six, five, six. Five, two, one, seven. Gotcha. Who is this? Hi, are you Mr. William Bailey? That's me. And you are? Yes, my name is Michael Arthate. I'm a journalist for a local newspaper in Rothbury. Well, you're the former police chief of this town, aren't you? Indeed. I served many years ago. And you were once in charge of a famous, or should I say, infamous case here? Oh, bloody hell. Don't tell me this is about James Blackwood. Well, yes. I'm writing a story for my newspaper. Um, the most famous police cases of Northumberland. Have you got any idea how many times I've talked about this? <laughs> Please, Mr. Bailey, I beg you. Please, Mr. Bailey, I beg you. It won't be the same if I can have the information from someone who was there, and no less than the renowned William Bailey of Rothbury. Oh, all right, son, spare me the nonsense. What is it you want to know? 
Well, in the first place, what did Ava Mariani see exactly? She saw enough, son. James Blackwood was dragging a shape into a hole in the garden. At first, Mrs. Mariani couldn't realize what it was. But eventually, she made out the dead body of Catherine Blackwood with a serious wound. And Blackwood was automatically deemed guilty? He was found digging his wife's son. Why did James Blackwood never appear before a jury? When you're someone as renowned and famed as James Blackwood was, you can pretty much avoid the authorities. However, you can't avoid justice. And justice was brought upon James Blackwood. Justice? How? He died shortly after the accusation. You should know about that. What happened to Dr. Christopher Milton? How should I know? Are you saying he could have had something to do with the murder? Blackwood and Milton were very intimate. Milton did the impossible to aid his friend and even clear his name after he died. You do the math. And was ever determined the cause of death of Catherine Blackwood? Yes, partly. Mrs. Mariani managed to see her throat was slit open. Ripped, she would say. Still, everything sounds so vague, as if something were missing. Are you questioning my performance on this case, son? <coughs> no, 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 sir, not at all. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, why a proper autopsy was never done. An autopsy to whom? Please, sir, this is very important to me, and I could really use your help. I'm trying to fit all the pieces of this mystery together. don't think I understand, sir. Listen, son. That cool-blooded bastard murdered his wife, God knows why. But he and his fancy doctor did the impossible to hamper our investigations. You don't have to be a brilliant detective to realize Blackwood did it. There's always a reason behind a murder. There's always a reason behind a murder. Nobody has ever found out why Blackwood did what he did. Psychopaths don't need any reasons. And James Blackwood turned into one, precisely. <sighs> well then, tell me how Blackwood reacted when you pulled his wife from beneath the ground. I beg your pardon? I mean Catherine Blackwood's body when you dug in the garden of the manor. Like I said, they hampered the investigation. We never managed to set one foot inside the manor. What kind of bloody journalist are you, son? <laughs> but are you telling me you never actually retrieved the body? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Now, if you don't mind. But, but wait, th this doesn't make any sense. Stop wasting my time, damn it. I was enjoying my retirement until you had the brilliant idea of calling me. I don't want to hear anything else about this case ever again. Please, Mr. Bailey, don't... Jerry, please help me. Ah, Jerry. Right. I spoke with retired policeman William Bailey. I barely believe what I've just heard. Catherine Blackwood is still buried in the garden. What about Blackwood? He's probably that. 